Hello friends, in this video we want to look at how to design a custom menu that transitions from uh, an, a header to uh, a menu list. So we're going to create an animated uh, header that animates from a title uh, view to a menu view. Alright, so if this is your first time here on this channel, we help you create awesome mobile applications and we discuss strategies to become a better mobile app developer. If that interests you, subscribe now by clicking on that red button and also click on the notification icon so that you get notified every time we upload new content. Alright, without wasting time, let's get started. Now, I have shared to the 2019 open here and uh, what I have done so far, I've done uh, about three things. The first thing was to, is to, uh, the first thing I did uh, was to install the latest version of the marine forms. So I've updated the marine forms to the latest version 4.8. And the second thing I've done is uh, to import the assets that I'm going to be using uh, in this project. And thirdly, if you go to the uh, main page that uh, Zamel or CS, I have uh, a I have a class called menu. This is going to handle our menu objects. Then I have an observable collection of menu here uh, that I want to display. And I've just set the binding context uh, or to of this page to itself so that you can get this menu item. So you can see this menu item is getting a uh, list of menu from this uh, method. All right. So I'm going to run this now so that you can make use of the uh, Xamarin Auth Reload. Uh, so, uh, so having done that, uh, let's go to our main page .xaml and let's start to design our page. All right. So this is the default uh, Xamarin Forms uh, page that we have. So uh, I'm going to remove all this. Removing all this, and uh, I'm going to start with a grid. So this grid, uh, I want this grid to fill and expand uh, both horizontally and vertically. So I'm going to set the horizontal option, and the vertical option to fill and expand. All right. So the strategy that I want to use is this: we're going to have uh, something that is the content, uh, a content view that is the content of the page. And also the view for the menu. All right. So uh, to do this, let me see what the main form is. There. All right. So this is the default that we have. If I save this now, this should uh, update. All right. So uh, we want to have two views. Uh, the first one is uh, the view that will, that will be on the page, and the second one is the menu view. So for our view, we just want something simple. We're not going to put anything fancy there. Uh, we're going to just add uh, a grid. And inside the grid, uh, we have a stack layout that is in the center. Uh, we have we have an image and uh, it takes saying no content. So I save this now. So this is just what we have. We just, we just want to have this uh, like this. So now for our, for our menu, let's start to create our menu, which is the most important thing for this video. So. Uh, for the menu, I want this to also be in this same grid, but we're going to transform it to uh, create a menu. And I'm putting this after this uh, grid because I want it to be on top. All right, so let's start with the grid. And this grid, uh, we, let's give, we're going to give it a name. So let's give it the name uh, called the uh, main, main menu view. And uh, we want to have two columns. Uh, so we want to have two columns and um, we want the background color to be uh, this color and uh, we want the height request to be 500 so we want the height to be 500 and we want it to start horizontally all right so i'm going to save let me put this to the next page to the next line I'm going to save this now so that we can see what we have. As you can see, we have this grid now over on, on top of uh, our view. All right, so uh, we're getting there gradually. Now, the next thing we're going to do uh, is to now also have um, in, this, in this particular grid, 
we want two views we want the, the, the view that will represent the title title view and also the view that will represent the menu view so for the title view we're going to have something like this let's have a grid and uh, in this grid uh, we're going to have a stack layout that contains the uh, image button and a text so I'm just going to copy this and paste so what we have here, what I've just pasted is this. We have uh, a stack layout with image button and uh, a type two. So let's save this and let's see how it's going to look like. So this is how we're going to have it. So I'm going to undo this uh, click, uh, go to the mission so that we'll not forget this later. So we'll come back to uh, this part to undo the click. All right, so this is the view that represents uh, the, the type two, but it's in the first column. So as you can see, this grid has two columns. One auto, the other one takes the rest of the space. So this grid is going to be in the first column. So on the second column, we want um, we want to also have a grid. So let's put a grid in here. So this grid, uh, let's give it a name. Uh, let's call it the menu uh, items view. So it'll be menu items view and we want this to be uh in the second column that is index one we want the uh horizontal options to be fill and expand all right so i'll save this we cannot see anything yet now what we now want to do is to uh have our list of our menu list so to have our menu list i want to make use of a stack layout and this stack layout, uh, I want to give it a margin of 70 at the top because I want it to move down a little to start from somewhere around this point. You can see my mouse, I want it to start from somewhere around this point. So I'm going to give it a margin of 70 at the top. And uh, now I want to set the spacing to 20, uh, spacing between the items. And then um, I want to set the bindable layout so i want to set the bindable layout to this method to this uh property uh menu items so let's let's do that uh so let's just set bindable layout dot item source uh equals to menu item let's paste this like this so if i save okay if you look if you, if you check uh this view very well you can see that we have uh, some items here that are black uh if i expand this now so you can quickly see uh, the expansion is not working okay so you can uh, i'm very sure you can see so these are the list of items these are many that we have all right uh because i want uh because i want this i'll, I'll come to this later so now let's let's now undo the uh items uh template so we we'll do bindable layout dot items template and let's set the data template for this now our data template is very simple uh we just want a stack layout a stack layout and in this stack layout uh we want the or uh, orientation to be uh horizontal and we're giving it the spacing of 20. and in this stack layout we, we need two things we need uh, image so that's the first thing that we need an image that contains the icon if I save this now you should see our image so you can see this is uh, this is coming up gradually then next that we need so we are binding this to an icon this icon is in our uh, let me show you this is the icon here that we use to generate uh, this menu and this is pointing to all these icons in the in the drawables folder all right so having done that uh, we need also the label so let's paste uh let's add a label here so if i save this now you can see now this is the title so now we've already structured our our menu the way we want it to be so uh now what we're now going to do is to uh try to change the orientation of, of these things 
So the first thing that I want to change, uh, is I want to move this, I want to uh, change the direction of this uh, this activity because this is already in, in the rotation that we want it to when it is uh, expanded. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is um, at the main menu view up here. This is the main menu view up here. This part, this grid that we have here that, that contains this menu, we want to do some things. One, we want to change the anchor. So anchor X, we want to set it to this fraction and anchor Y to the same fraction and rotate it at 90. Now, this is this is what I mean. So this is, if you, this is uh, at this point, top left, this is zero, zero. This is zero, this is uh, one, zero. This is zero, one, and this is one, one. And at the four corners. So we are setting this to this fraction and it's going to start from somewhere around where you can see my mouse here that's where we are setting the anchor to for the rotation so if i save this now so as you can see this has been rotated uh, uh to uh 90 degrees based on the anchor that we set if we change this to zero zero this will move to the point so uh let me just quickly show you if this is zero zero now and save this you can start to move it uh, away because uh, it's starting at this center and it's rotating outside of the view. Okay, so I'm going to leave that, that fraction. All right, so we have that rotation now. Uh, for this, we want to move this a little bit to, to the left, this list of menu. So we're going to set the uh, translate X for that menu item. So this is the menu item here. We want to set the translate X to minus 50. So this has moved this to this side a little. All right, that is fine. That is looking good. And uh, lastly, all we now want to do uh, as default is to rotate the main menu view. Uh, so, but before we do that, uh, I want to set the opacity of this to um, zero. We are going to animate the opacity later. So this will go off. That is fine. Now, we want to rotate this view now. So to do that, we're going to use the same uh, method that we did for the uh, for this grid. So the same thing that we did here, we want to do it for this main menu view, this from this, this side. So we want to set the anchor to that same fraction, and now set the rotation to uh, we'll set the rotation to ninety minus ninety degrees. So if you save this now, you can see that we have our type two uh, view. All right. So with this uh, now, we can now go to the main to the uh, code behind to undo um, the animation. But before we do that, I want to undo the tab gesture for our items here. So for this menu item, this very menu item. We want to handle the tab gesture for this stack layout so that when you tap on it it's going to change the title that we have here so i'm going to set uh the tab gesture on this call it menu item menu tab so go to definition so we'll come back to handle this so i'm going to stop this now and uh right uh here we just need two methods uh, i want to quickly create two methods uh, one is show and the other one is hide so let's just do uh, private void show. Let's call it show. And in this method, to show our, our menu, what we want to do is, the first thing we want to do is to fade the title uh, text. So uh, we want all this animation to, to happen at the same time. So we're going to do title text dot fade to I want it to fade to zero that's the first thing we want to do the second thing I want to do I want this to also run at the same time uh, the main the main items view main, the menu items view rather menu items view we want to also fade this to one you know this is already zero want to fade it to one so fade to one like this and lastly i uh, want to rotate 
our main menu view. So I wait our main menu view dot rotate to. We want to rotate this to zero uh, at 300 milliseconds, and what our easing to be uh, bounce out, bounce out. So we want this to bounce. All right. So I'm going to put async here for it to run async asynchronously. All right. So we need another method called hide, and it's like the reverse of what we have. Here. So I'm going to copy this method. And duplicate it so i'm going to call this hide and we want to fit uh type 2 back to one we want to fit the uh, menu item to zero and want this to go back to minus 90 from where it's coming from and also set it to bound all right so at the point where we are show we, we have this show uh menu that's when you click on the the menu icon want to say show just like this now for the uh, for this item tab, when you tap on any any menu, what we want to do first is to set the title text. So the title text the text. Let's set it to uh, I need like about I need some parentheses here. So uh, the first one is we want to get the sender as a stack layout because our sender is a stack layout. Then uh, from there, I want to get the binding context. The binding context, then it's going to be has menu. Then from this now, we now want to get the title. Yeah. All right, so we are setting uh, this text to the title. And lastly, we just want to hide, want to do the hide animation. All right, so let's save all and let's run this. Now, so let's wait for this to load and see what we have in our view. So we have our view now. So if, you, if I click on this uh, item, you can see the animation bounce. If I select settings, you can see settings selected. Select the, the menu. You can see the menu item rotate, that is rotating. Profile, feed, activity. All right, so that is how you create a transition from uh, a title bar to uh, a menu to a menu uh, list. All right, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like by you know clicking on that like button. Let it turn blue; it's good for the algorithm. And also, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, subscribe now and click on that notification icon so that you get notified when I upload new contents. And also, don't forget to share uh, this content on social media. And uh, if there's any other thing that you would like me to talk about, please don't, don't, don't hesitate to put that in the comment section below. Alright, thank you very much and I will see you in the next video.